You're live. Yay. Whoa, I can't really move. Let's see who joins in. While I fix this microphone. Hello, hello. It's happy hour time. Welcome to Stephanie's Bar. <laughs> I got my tea. Welcome to Stephanie's Bar. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do like a happy hour live today. And maybe I'll just start doing those on Wednesdays. Oh, you like these lashes? I was going for that twiggy look. Because <laughs> when I used to go to happy hour back in the day, I, excuse me, I'm actually using the microphone can you hear me okay? Can you type yes or no? I wanna make sure you can hear me first. I apologize that it's showing, but I wanna make sure you guys, yay. I wanna make sure you guys can hear me good. So back in the day when I went to happy hour, when I was a wee little girl, no, I was in my 20s, um, I always kind of transformed. I did my hair a little bit differently. Are you using YouTube Live? Yep, YouTube Live. And I always did some sort of elaborate lashes and that's how I went out. So I figured, let me put on some twiggy looking lashes. I have my tea, my mint tea to wake me up. And I thought it'd be kind of fun just to do, um, oh, that's right, I have to look over here. I thought it'd be fun to do the July empties that way. And I wanna do not only more lives, but maybe I should just do them on Wednesdays so we can pick a topic. Um, I can do either tutorials, I can do a review, just anything. Let's kind of make a Wednesday happy hour thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So I'll let some more people join. Go grab a snack, go grab wine, beer, hard liquor, <laughs> tea, whatever you fancy. Then I'll wait a little bit for people to join. It's about 4.39 where I'm at Pacific Standard Time. What are you guys doing? Maybe some of you guys are at the bar. Not me, I'm boring, I stay home. You got your ice cream, you're good to go. What kind of ice cream? Love ice cream. Oh, you're at work? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get started. People can come in as they go. So empties, July. You have cold brew coffee, yay. Okay, so I have two bags and let's get started. Okay, so first I'm just gonna kind of start off with the mis miscellaneous stuff. First is the hydrogen peroxide. And I've mentioned this in my skincare videos. I use this on my pimples, on my face. So I just focus it in this little region. Whenever I have a pimple that is coming out, it's sprouting, kind of move my candles. I will clean it out with the hydrogen peroxide after it's burst or whatnot. And that just clears it up, makes it flat. It's, to me, it's one of my like best um, acne pimple kind of medication. You know, it's for first aid anyway, so I figure since I'm breaking the skin, you know, hurry up and heal it, heal it as well. Okay, next up is the cream, Curian. This is their original moisturizing cream. This took me forever to finish up. Huge tub. I owe this, oh great, what is this? Boop, sorry, something came in a text. Um, I owe this this whole entire brand, this entire cream to my hairdresser, Lauren. She got me started on this because of just eczema issues I have. My son also has eczema. And every time I was going to Vegas, I always would have, like I get off the plane and I mean every, some areas of my face I'd have these dry patches. And one time I got off the plane and I mean I had this huge patch all the way around my eye. So I had to go down the strip to Walgreens with this dry patch all over my eyes. Got this huge tub, put it on my face, and I mean, it, it's healed it ever since. So that is a lifesaver 
to me. And I always associate that Vegas story with that cream. Next is my baking soda. I've talked about my baking soda. Why I use this, why it's kind of in my beauty empties is I just sprinkle it every day, once a day on my toothbrush. I've been doing that since I was a little girl, since um, I was told to do that. And that's how I keep my teeth white. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do the rest of my life. And I'm just, I'm not into the teeth whitening stuff, all that mess that's out there. Not my style. Excuse me for all the noise. Not my style, um, I just rather use, you know, what works. Okay, the next miscellaneous item is my tea. And I thought I would just start adding that in because I like to know what your favorite teas are because I'm a huge tea drinker. I have coffee in the morning and then the rest of the day is water and herb tea. So this is actually the tea that I have right here. And it's from, I think, is it Starbucks? No, I remember I could get this at Starbucks. It's just Tazo Refresh Mint. This is caffeine free. You love Earl Grey. Earl Grey, I think, has caffeine in it. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I like this one for some reason. I really like this tea and it just wakes me up. My power hours. If you know what power hours are, you know what I'm talking about. I, yes, it does. Okay, I am a morning person. I am the annoying morning person who gets up at like 4.30 in the morning and I'm bouncing off the walls and I'm doing, you know, here, there and everything. And I start to go downhill at two o'clock. Two o'clock p.m. I go downhill. So the tea, the mint tea seems to wake me up and I have to do things to kind of wake me up as well. So tea helps me and then that refreshment just gets me like that, up and at it. Next is my vitamins. Um, a lot of this stuff I've already have talked about in prior empties and also depending on whatever is, you know, skincare routine or whatnot. This is by Royal Brittany, it's the Evening Primrose Oil. Now it says on here the servings is, it does say one soft gel and I believe you can take up to like three of these in one day according to my doctor. But I only, I only take one a day. And I started, I added this to my vitamin routine and I take a lot of vitamins. And I started to take this at lunchtime because it, I don't know what's in here that kind of, hey Stephanie, what kind of just releases in my system throughout the day. It helps with the hormones as well. But I was feeling a lot of like stress and anxiety towards the afternoon going into the evening. And this has helped me a lot. So I will never stop taking that. Next up is from Avalon Organics, and this is my clarifying shampoo. This is their lemon version. And it is, says it has a lemon essential, lemon essential oils. It has all these other essential oils in it as well. But I have talked about this as well. Why I like this is this gets like the dirt, the smell, <laughs> all that mess out of my hair because I don't wash my hair often. I wash it every three weeks. And then I see my hairdresser and then I wash it again um, every two weeks. So the point is I don't wash it very often. So when I do wash it here at home, I use this as like my pre-wash. It's what I do to get everything out. And then I use my regular shampoo, which at the time was this. And then that clears it out and then I just do a shampoo. This is the brand Davines and I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is their Love Shampoo. Now I actually looked this one up because I look this one up because this smells absolutely incredible. It smells incredible and I noticed my hair was incredibly soft. That's another thing what I notice with shampoos is when my hair literally feels like silk. I kid you not like silk. This and that Japanese one I just reviewed. My hair feels like baby's asses times 10 you know, big boss baby going down that little thing, all these little asses, boop, boop, boop. So um, I looked this up because I'm like, oh, I might want to repurchase this. I got this in my birch box ages ago. I'm not a, a subscriber anymore, but it's too much of a hassle. It says it's made in Italy. It's too much of a hassle to try to find it, ship it here. No, I'm not going like that. So finished that, but it was good while it lasts. Okay. Next is, you know what, let's just do makeup because this whole bag is skincare. 
Okay, makeup is next. Speaking of lashes, I have two that I pretty much have gone through. Now, this pair right here, this incredibly dusty pair, I mean, the phone is not gonna pick this up. There it is, like against my white wall. It's not gonna pick it up. It is so incredibly dusty. It has glue stuck. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much done. But yeah, I get a lot of uses out of my lashes. The, this lash, I love it. From Ardell Lash, I've said it before, the style, which is my ultimate favorite from Ardell, is 120. 120 is good if you, let's say you work in a professional office, so you can't have like lashes like these popping, you know, popping out of the board meeting. But you want something that will give you a little bit of drama. It just gives a little bit where people will go, what, what'd you do different to your lashes? You look really good. That is what this style does. And then if, if you're getting married and you're not really into lashes, but you want just, again, a little bit of drama, you're going out. If you're a new beginner to lashes, I always tell everybody, Ardell 120. They're the best, they are the best. And then this style is number 110. And I think this is by that other brand that starts with an A. I think Andrea. I'm not sure if they're associated with um, Ardell. Or this might be Ardell's too. I can't remember because I, I don't have the case around it. But I'm pretty much done with this one. I didn't wear it too much. I can tell because it's not all dinged up. I just did, I didn't like it. I don't think it gave me enough drama. The only time... I am like, eh, on a lash is when it kind of looks like the same as if I was just wearing my own lashes with mascara. And this is the effect I get with this. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go through the extra step of putting on lashes if I don't have to, if I'm not gonna see anything. I'm gonna take a little sip. See if this is cooled down. You guys are quiet tonight. You must be eating dinner. Nobody's at the bar. Nobody's at the bar talking. Okay, move it on. Elf, makeup mist and set. This I do not use as a setting spray. I only use this as like water on the desk or if I'm on an assignment. That's the only reason why I use it. So I use it to, well, like water. Like just to clean anything real quick. I use it mainly also just to clean off my stencils just real quick, done with it. I don't use it to make up set. I don't know if it works, but it works for when I need water. There's no sink. $3, I guess. Okay, next up is from Supergroup. This is their Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary, and this has SPF 50. This and this one from Kula, SPF 30. This, these two are those like makeup setting sprays like the Kate Somerville, which I prefer. That one sets your makeup and you got that SPF 50 protection. No white cast, no, none of that on your face, you know, especially if you have dark skin. These two were in my birch box too, just trying to use it up. This, I don't like the smell. This has that strong like chicken, you know, you use rosemary for chicken, just I just, I could not get that out of my head. No, I didn't even finish it up. I wasn't a, wasn't a part of that. And then this is the Kula one again. This one just doesn't work. I feel that those two brands, they're known for like sunscreen, Kula and Supergroup. They need to stay with sunscreen. They need to stay with what you're good at. Stay with skincare, stay in your lane. Don't go into makeup because it just, it's just, it just doesn't, no, just doesn't work. Okay, next up is a sample from Makeup Forever. Now, usually I don't keep these little packets. This is step one. I don't keep them like in my bag to show as an empty. I, I just stopped doing that. Back in the day I did. But the only reason why I'm showing this is if it's in the bag, you know it impressed me and it's good. This is my first time using any primer, to be honest, from Makeup Forever. And I was highly, Highly impressed with this. I have the other one at the same time. I think it's step, I don't know if it's step two or if it's a different step, but it's in a dark gray tube. And what I did is I had a deluxe of that one and it looks and feels like Benefit, Pore, 
poor, uh, poor professional. So what I did is I put this all over my face, like smoothed it out, and then I put that benefit like dupe one just in like any particular areas like right here for the pores in the smile lines all day long everything was pristine i think that's a smoothing one it was pristine like those two combos at cocktail was perfect for my face so i'm going to actually purchase a full size of the step one so i kept it to remind myself to purchase it and let you guys know that is fabulous. I just, I like how that, that smoothing one was just right here and just right, oh, perfect. Combination with one another. Yeah, I had no idea. I was like, where was I? You know, I tend to stick with what kind of works. I'll test a lot, but I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just stick with what works. And that stuff is good. So I really do like that one. Now I am decluttering my eyebrow stuff. I don't have too much to declutter because I'm decluttering the brows with eyeliners so I can film it. And this was what I'm getting rid of. Okay, so all of them are step one. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna get a full size of the smoothing one and then a full size of that lotion one. This has a, like a lotion texture and that's what I actually prefer. And then I like to put that little smoothing one on. Absolutely fabulous. I love that cocktail. Okay, back to the brow gel. This is just a no frills brow gel. It, didn't, it doesn't do what I needed to do for my brow hairs. My brow hairs are curly. Was that the nourishing one or hydrating? Oh, on the packet it says hydrating. That's probably why I like that. And I have normal skin, but it also doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like it's too much moisture on the skin. So I don't know. I don't know if oily skin people can use it as well. I would love to know if you have oily skin and you use that as well, but I really like that one, right? I know. Okay, this brow gel, again, it doesn't hold my hairs. Oh, you like this? Oh no, you like the primer. This one, just it just does not hold. You have normal to dry, okay. So I think normal to dry, very dry is gonna really like that one. Thank you, Melissa. Um, this brow gel, again, doesn't hold my hair well. So what I do with this is I was just using this as my um, in-between barrier with my mascara. This is just like a, a trick that I do with my mascara. When I need my lashes or anybody's lashes to stay curled up, I will create a barrier between your brow hair, brow hair, your lash hair, the mascara, and then I just put this almost like a sealant on it so that way your lashes stay, not only stay up, but also if you wear contacts, it, none of that falls into your contacts. So that has been, goodness, I think since, I think 1992 was when I learned that, that trick, and I've been doing it ever since. Usually I use Great Lash Mascara though, just the regular clear one. So just to use that up, I just did it the same way. And it worked for that purpose, but not for the brow hairs. Next up is Bobbi Brown. So this is a sample of her Soothing Cleansing Oil. This, as far as remove my makeup, it's not, it's, uh, you know, would I go and buy a full size? No, I have oils that perform much better than this. In Bobbi's line, here's another thing, like when you're looking at makeup artists' line, you know, sometimes they can get it right with skincare. Me being a skincare fanatic, you better be on top of that. I like her hydrating eye cream, but it just depends on what it is, but everything else I'm just not impressed with. It's just like, if anything, just something to, prep your skin before makeup application, but as far as like anti-aging efforts and so forth, no. And this, this smoothing or soothing oil, let's see, it's got sunflower oil, jasmine flower, all kind of other stuff in it. It felt like I still needed more to get it off, the makeup off my face. And it would still feel like there was like residue even after I washed my face. And it's not supposed to feel that way. So it's just, whoops. 
tips. It's just an oil. No, I'm not impressed with that. Now, this last item I am very impressed with. I have been using it till, oh goodness, I, I, I can't even remember when. And I had to cut the bottom because I did not know what was wrong with it. But I have so, hey. Oh, you got some wine? Ooh, white or red. I had to cut the bottom of it to see what was wrong. I can't get any more out. Urban Decay, that's my eyes maker. <laughs> Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the original version. Love this. I have oily, oily eyelids, which is funny since I have normal skin. And if it's going to go anywhere, it goes dry. But I do, I have oily eyelids. So what I have to do, and what I will do for people that also have very oily eyelids, is I just put a regular primer first, which is tends to be this one, because this one will just suck the oil. Like it just, you know, just goes in there and it sucks it up. And then I put on, mm-hmm. Okay, so this would pertain to you. I put this on first, and then I will put on, if I'm, if I'm going to put on a second base, I will put on a second base and then I set that base with loose powder. Or sometimes I've set the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but nine times out of 10, I really don't have to and then I just go ahead and proceed. But for very oily eyelids like myself, I don't know why in that region, I just tend to have, I mean, they're just, the glands are just going out of control. And then I use that. You know with the second base that I've been using, it's kind of funny because it is my most viewed video of all time. Who would have known that going out and buying every concealer from Age Rewind just to get, oh, white, the white one is um, Sin. I think Sin, I have that one too. Who would have guessed that my going out to go buy all of the Age Rewind concealers by Maybelline, swatching them on my face, for my NW43 series, and that would be like, I think it's climbing 70,000 views. It's because, and I actually have another one coming up, the NW43, and I still get comments and I still get emails like, you're making fun of the brand and so forth, I'm not. If people would just pay attention to what I say in there of why I, why I even have NW43 to begin with, it's, you know, to see would it match on your skin tone because I can have anybody. She can be fair skin, she can be dark skin. She doesn't know. She doesn't know what that shade's gonna be. And she's gonna pick it up and she may, or he may use it as a concealer. So that's why I did it. So afterwards, after the video, I gave some of the shades away. Um, I just told, you know, take the sponge off and then the concealer, you can still use the concealer. And I kept the neutralizer and I kept honey. And I, to this day, still use, I use honey more, but I use it as my eye base. If you have hooded eyelids or if you have mature skin, if you have any type of lines, extra lines and wrinkles, so on your eyelid, but also underneath your eye, I use that as my second eye base. So I put this one on first and then I put on the Age Rewind Concealer and Honey, but I use a brush to smooth it out and I smooth it out on, on before, like basically as my eye base. And it just cleans up every extra bit of oil. It smooths it out. It takes away any discoloration. And then I just apply the loose powder to actually set it. Then I go in with my eyeshadow and it will bring the color out more. But mostly what it does is nothing skips when I use that concealer. It doesn't bunch up on my eyelid and it also just, everything just looks smooth. So that's like my double eyelid primer cocktail per se, all these cocktail talks for happy hour for very oily eyelids. Just need to kind of find what color works for you, but honey and the neutralizer. So when I wanna kind of do like Urban Decay um, Sin primer, on my eyelid, then I will use the neutralizer. The neutralizer has like a yellow base and I'll use that when I really want the colors to pop. So try that if, if you know, you have hooded eyes, again, lines, wrinkles, any, anything you want your eyeshadow to be really smooth and blend well, just use that as the base, as the second base. 
If you have dry eyelids or regular eyelids, I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's probably gonna be too much for you, but I have to, I have to make a few changes. Okay. Skincare. This nice little pink bag. You know what? Let's just, sorry for the noise. The microphone picks that up. There we go. And that way I can just dump everything back in here. Okay, I have quite a few sheet masks here. So let me kind of pick that out. Oops. Oh gosh. This one, I swear, I'm just gonna have to throw away. I probably, I'm just, oh look, another one. <laughs> another one. Okay, I can get rid of this one because I know to save it. I absolutely hate, despise this sheet mask. You just don't know. Hi. Gosh, you guys like these lashes. You know, let me tell you something. I was saying to myself, these lashes look so much like Twiggy before I got on. I'm all looking at these Twiggy photos here on my iPad, like this one. I know we're totally going off subject, but that's what you do at happy hour, right? Can you see that? I said to myself, okay, these lashes gonna look a little dramatic. They're not used to seeing me like that. But you guys are, that's the first thing you're noticing. Okay. You love Twiggy though, I know. Who doesn't? What did they do in the 60s? Don't, don't get me started. I would have been having a ball. I mean, a ball. I'd be having fun in any era. <laughs> Oh, I have the eyes. Oh, thank you. They're from Makeup Shack and they're the Mad Eye. And I was actually at Makeup Shack today because I always stop in when I'm on my way to get my hair done. I get to Ulta. Hey, is that Tony or Dell? <laughs> and Lauren actually has something. She ate something the prior day. So she's not feeling well. So she's going to do my hair on Saturday. That's why my hair looks nasty right now. So I went and I stopped in. Yeah, okay, I'm going, you know what? I'm gonna wear these more in videos. And so um, I stopped in the makeup shack and I got a few things and they actually gave me some more lashes. They gave me some more mad eye and some other style for free, complimentary. That was really nice of them. They didn't have to do that. She, you know what's funny? She asked me, she goes, what are your favorite lashes here? And then I told her and I didn't, you know, I'm checking out pain and then I get in the car and I'm like, Oh, she put four lashes in my bag. That was nice. She just put them in there as a little gift. Okay, back to the sheet mask. Hate, hate the sheet mask. This is from that beauty book drama. I don't like this. I hate it. I have so many more too. I think I'm just going to toss them. I'm just going to toss them. This mask is so saturated with essence. It is the S, what is it? Caviar. It's soaked with essence. The, sh the style of the mask, it's, it's kind of, it doesn't fit my face well, put it that way. I have all this liquid just, I mean, dribbling, no matter how, m any way I put that damn mask, I have a towel around me. I feel like I have to go through all this drama just to wear the sheet mask. And that's not, that's not relaxing to me. I don't wanna be dealing with that. I mean, just dripping. I'm like putting it everywhere. Like, okay, I'll use it as body lotion. And then it's still dripping. It's like more moisture is coming out of the damn mask as it's sucked on my face. I do not get it. Hate that mask. Oh, really? The masks from Sally's are like that? I'll stay away from that. I do. I walk around with the towel around my shoulders, like around here, and then still it's just dripping. I'm like, where the heck is all this extra moisture coming from? It's ridiculous. I have so many of those left over too because obviously I didn't know what it was like. I'm getting rid of them. Two for, I have not tried the Too Cool for School egg mask. I have their, that's the one I have in my shower for morning use is the um, the egg, the foam. I don't like it. That, that no, it, it's too much of that shaving cream comes out. You No, you barely touch it. And I mean, it's like pew, this big glob of white. <laughs> foam. I should just use it. Oh, really? Does it make my face bright? Well, I wouldn't know because I'm too busy frowning at it. <laughs> it's 
like half of it's on my shower wall. I'm just like, ugh, no. Okay, next up is a mask that I really like. And I actually got this one from my girlfriend before I went to their um, beauty event down in LA. So this is from the brand 107. And this is gonna be an upcoming video as well because I've got quite a few items from them to try out. This is their snow mask, essential mask packs. Anytime you see snow, snow white, snow this, snow that, in the word, oh, the mask will make me bright, okay. Well, hopefully the mask doesn't come shooting out like shaving cream, because I can't deal with that. <laughs> I'll be cussing at it too much. I do curse off camera, off YouTube, but I don't like to do it on YouTube as much. Okay, this snow mask. My point was, if you see snow anywhere written on an Asian product, know that that is supposed to help Add radiance to your skin. It's not going to dye you white. You ain't going to go around looking like Snow White with the seven dwarves, which I would not mind having seven dwarves following after me, doing every wish, every command. There, I just went off topic. <laughs> I just had a little thought there. Um, this will help you have that in your skin. So I do like this, right? When I saw snow, I was like, oh, I'm all over that. Radiance. Radiance, I'm all about that. And internal glow comes out, boom, all over your skin. And then this one is good too. This is from Dr. G. This is their whitening Vita mask. And these now you can, I believe, pick these up at Walmart now because Dr. G is Korean and Dr. G is now available at Walmart. So this isn't very, very expensive at all. I think those are like $2. They're like $1.50, $2 at um, Walmart. Probably no more than three. So those are some good cheap masks. Like those are repeat ones that I would actually purchase. And then more repeat purchases with snail. I have, I do like those. So I, what I do is, if you haven't watched my skincare playlist, like my mask specific video that I made, I do a mask every single night. I just rotate it. So one night I'll do a sheet mask and then I'll pick whatever sheet mask. So it could be a repair one. I pull the snail or whatever is in the um, fridge. I keep them in the fridge. And then the next day I'll do a clay mask. The third day, if I wanna do a sheet mask again, I'll just pull a different type of brightening one. So I do a different mask every single day. And I love those, love them. But I tend to like the snail because when it comes to a snail product, like the essence, first treatment essence, whatever it is, it does help with just, you know, the cell turnover, the collagen. So I do like the snail, definitely. Another repeat purchase. This is probably, I figure, in every empties. This and this one from Shiseido. Now I'm coming close to being done with the Shiseido and I don't believe I'm going to be purchasing these again. I'm still using them from the VIB sale. Like I still have like three more packs left. So I'm just, you know, finishing up. Yes, anything with snail, perfect. I mean, they can, they can walk all over my face all day long do whatever they want. <laughs> so the Shiseido, you know, they're kind of expensive. And then since I got these at Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, they, they perform the same way. And this one actually is different than the version. Would you mind if I used your comment? Of course, give me credit. Give me credit. <laughs> Have them come back. The snail is good for skin repairing. And I'm gonna talk about it in the upcoming, like my morning routine, my evening routine. And I have other routines as well. To me, what I wanna do as far as when it comes to a skincare routine, what I wanna film for you guys, cause I don't wanna make it too complicated. So when I first start, sorry to kind of go off to topic, but when I first started like making the skincare videos, in my mind, I'm thinking, I just don't want to throw all this information out to you guys and you're just like, okay, this is way too much. She does a million steps. It's crazy. And I, I made these videos like basically to help you make your, come up with your own skincare routine for morning and for evening. So it just is going to depend on your budget. It's going to depend on your lifestyle, where you're at in your life. You may be a new mom and a baby. You don't have time to do 12 steps. I know I sure as hell didn't. 
when I had my son, I mean, I didn't even wear makeup for the first year. And you might be a college student, a lot of different stuff in your life. The funny thing is I've, I've gone through all that too. So I think about that and I kind of think about the different viewers. So I also kind of think about, you know, where, where you may be, your skin type, maybe you, you want to talk about repair, you have acne, what might fit best for you. So I'm, I'm going to be mentioning that again in my new routine. Nothing really changes. The only thing that changes in the routine is the products. And they tend to rotate, they rotate in, they rotate out. I use what's in my collection. And then I just go and I pick another item that's worked best for me. So the, the actual steps stay the same as far as what I do and how I do it and why I do it. I like to explain that to you guys. Doesn't mean you have to do it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be there with you in the morning. I'm not gonna be there with you to take your makeup off at night. You know, you have to decide what works best for you in your lifestyle. But I feel that if I break it out like that, hopefully, you know, you're able to understand it. And of course, you know, if you have any questions. But when I started to use a snail, whether it's a sheet mask, essence, sleepy mask. Okay, so let's talk about this. Here is a sleepy mask from Super Aqua. So this is the Cell um, Renew Snail. My skin just reacts well to the snail secretion. The snail sliming all over my face, go right ahead. I'll just lay on my back and you can just go right ahead. Go ahead, snail, do your thing. My skin just woke up and it just reacted well. It does plump the skin, it adds the hydration, the cell turnover, repairing the skin. And when you think about repairing, it's just, what is it that you know you need help with? I feel that it covers a lot of areas. And you really won't know if your skin is going to react well to it. It may react wrong to it because I know people that have tried snail and there's, I mean, they had major breakouts, major breakouts on their face and they just could not deal with this, anything that has snail secretion in it. So it just depends. We're all different. I reiterate that all the time in my videos, especially skincare, we are all different. We don't know how your skin is gonna react. Proceed with caution, of course. But you know, if you tend to be sensitive, don't do it so much. If you have some thick skin, you know, start to introduce it, use it for a good week. If you need to change it up, change it however you see fit. But this is part of a snail kit that I purchased that had the actual snail essence and then it had an essence cream. So it was a thinner liquid, um, like a, a lotion texture. It wasn't like an emulsion. It was kind of like a hybrid between the two right in the middle, but you use it at night. And then this was the sleepy mask. So if I do not have time to use an actual sheet mask, a face mask, whatever mask I wanted to do that night, if I'm on vacation, whatever it might be, I still do a mask on vacation as well. Then I will use a sleeping mask. So this is the one I had, or I was using at the time, and I was just rotating. I rotate my sleeping mask as well. So this is from Misha, M-I-S-S-H-A. And now, I think you can get Misha now at a lot of places. Back when I had this, it was pretty hard to get this. You can only order it online, but now that K-Beauty, Asian beauty is kind of just, you know, hot and everywhere, you can find this. But it's a super aqua, if I can just take that glare away. There you go, cell renewal. And this was fabulous. It had a very light, fresh scent to it. And it offered, it was just, it was just perfect. I mean, you wake up, the king or the queen snail, whatever it was doing all night, it did its job. That is a really good sleeping mask. Okay, back to the cotton pads. <laughs> so like I was saying, I'm happy with these. Uh, the other one that I was using, the package had almost like a yellow sun in the corner, and that was a different type of cotton. This one, this one that has just the pink stripe, this cotton looks exactly like the Shiseido. So $1.50, that's the packet I actually tried to find. Oh, oh. If you've been with me, you know this, you know this. <laughs> this needs no introduction. This, this, Stephanie and this, me, me and Steph. 
This is absolutely fantastic. Now this is the refill of my liquid gold and I just call it liquid gold and I started calling it that because I couldn't pronounce <laughs> its real name. And this is the refill version. I get this at my Japanese uh, grocery store. So if you live in areas or near areas that have Asian stores, Japanese grocery stores, Korean grocery stores. My Korean grocery store has a face shop inside and then it has an actual skincare as well. This one is from Mitsuka, if I'm pronouncing it right, but that is an Asian um, Japanese grocery store and they have all kinds of stuff up in there. And this is in there for me to get. So I started to get the refill version and just pour it right into my bottle so I can save my bottle and it's $2 cheaper versus buying another bottle. So I just figured I'd pick this up. This lotion is extremely popular in Japan. And it's kind of like that whole back in the day when Maybelline would be like, oh, Great Lash Mascara is like one tube is sold like every two, three seconds. This is like how it is in Japan. It's very similar. This is an actual liquid, it's like clear. It looks just like water, but it has Along with hyaluronic acid, it's got other acids like inside of it. And it is like this potent liquid. This is what I put on my smile lines. I get asked all the time about the smile lines. And at first I was starting to laugh because I'm like, it's kind of just like kind of caught me off guard. Like, oh, your smile lines look, what are you, what are you doing? And I'm just like, smile lines. Okay. We're asking that now. This is what I do. I put this in my smile lines. It plumps your skin like nothing else. I, I'm telling you, but you have got to stay with it. If you are lazy, if you are lazy, which is fine, maybe you just don't have the time, I don't care. When I discovered this, I made the time. Put it in your smile lines. After I put it on, press and pat it into my skin, I put just a little bit more into my palm and I press it into my smile lines. I press it with this finger, I press it underneath my eye, just like I would like blended out concealer. And then I press it on this side as well. I press it into my forehead. Plump any wrinkles, plump before that wrinkle comes <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. This will hydrate your skin like no other. It doesn't matter if you are very dry, dry, Whatever skin type you are, it does not matter. This, I want a pool of this liquid. I want a pool so I can jump in and stay underwater and emerge and just be, you know, flawless. I mean, this liquid, I will never stop buying this liquid. It is so unbelievably good. And I talk about it all the time in my skincare videos. It is Hada Labo, and then I can't say the rest. I can't say the rest. And this brand is the Hadalabo brand is at Ulta, but it's not, no, it's not the same one. You want the Japanese one. You want to find this orange writing, this bar down here. So screenshot, take a picture, right there. If you want in-depth, more information about that, I've talked about it in my other skincare videos. That, along with sunscreen, along with drinking a ton of water, along with getting rid of people who cause nothing but drama in your life, all kind of stuff will keep you plump, happy, wrinkle-free, you will live forever. Trust me, do that in that order <laughs> and you will live forever. Okay, next up is Wet n Wild. I do like these. These were actually my favorite wipes last year. Wet n Wild Under the Sheets 25 Makeup Remover Towelettes. Every time Rite Aid has a sale, well, my local Rite Aid has like 40% off sales on certain brands or buy one, get one half off. So when they have that, I pick up a ton of these. I do like those. It gets my makeup off. And that's another thing I'll use a cleansing oil. I'll use a makeup wipe. It's just actually whatever it is. I pull out the drawer, I look, pull out whatever's there. Just, you know, at the end of the day, take my makeup off. This, another Holy Grail item. Everyone knows it. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's been around for centuries, so to speak. Lancome by Fischiel, double action eye makeup remover. I still keep, hi, I still keep this bottle um, around the size, so I take it with me to travel. It gets rid of anything on your eyelid. 
makeup wise. I notice it does not get off lash glue residue. You know, if you have lash glue residue left over in your lashes or whatnot, it doesn't get that off as good as another product I use. So I have to go back in with it, but that pretty much gets everything off. It is pricey. I think it's like $20, $21, but it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. Look what I finished. I said I was gonna finish this. I think I actually said in a prior video when I first did this review, this is the Carez Black Pine um, Active Firming Sleeping Oil that it probably was gonna be like moving into fall, into summer when I would be finishing this oil. So I was right. Now this oil, I can't buy it off Sephora anymore because I did check because I wanted to purchase it. I really did like this oil. It is just pretty much the words on it that it states active firming oil. I feel it does that. I feel the hydration was, it was just intense. It was an oil that it's, it's a carrier oil, first of all. So it is gonna be an oil that's going to, you know, think of it, here is the carrier oil. And whatever is inside my hand is everything else. All the other skincare products that we're piling on pretty much and it's just pulling it right down to the skin. That is a carrier oil, not to be too scientific. So I noticed this brand has carrier oils and those are the oils that I wanna stick with because I, if I'm going through all this hassle of putting all this stuff on my face, I wanted to pull it down with it. Just help pull it down deep into the deep layers of the skin. Touch the skeleton as far as I'm concerned. What I like about this is it, it does help, especially in whatever kind of environment. And this weather that we've been having out here in Southern California, it's weird. It was like a, a cold spring and then it would be this intense heat. And then we're talking intense. Well, intense to us in California, because if it's 60 degrees to me, I'm freezing cold. <laughs> That's how it is. I don't know how you guys do it in 30 degrees and 40 degrees, I would die. I do not like the cold because I fall asleep. I fall asleep, I'm the opposite. It must be because I'm left-handed. If it's cold, I fall asleep, I am out. When it's hot, I am up and alert. And what's good about the black pine is it's from the trees that are used to those type of harsh environments and harsh and just weird environments that changes with the season that the black pine, it's, it stays like, it stays healthy and it stays thriving and third, you know, with all this crap going around it. That is what's in this oil and that's what I wanted. So I finished it up. I don't know why it says like you can't ship to the US for some reason, I have no idea. It's always like that when I find something I want and then I go back, okay, I wanna buy it and now I can't buy it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up their Wild Rose Active Vitamin C Oil, if that's the correct title. And it's another active oil, it's another carry oil, pull everything down with it. It's going to also be an antioxidant because it has the vitamin C in it. So I'm gonna get a double dose of vitamin C and I will be trying that next. But maybe this is only sold now in Europe, other countries, they don't wanna sell it in North America. I don't know why, but it's a fabulous oil. It's really good. This is from H2L Beauty. This is their Aqua Defense Shielding Masha Facial Essence. So this defend, defends against environmental stress as well. So this is in a pump and this was really just something that I put on like a spray essence. I usually what I do is I spray it into my hand and I press and pat it on my face. It isn't anything that like truly wowed me, but I knew it was going to be gentle. I knew for some reason it wasn't going to like interrupt my skin, like I wasn't gonna freak out because my skin doesn't tend to freak out with this brand. Anytime I introduce these products into my existing skincare routine, I, you know, it works fine. I use their spray mist. I use their pour, they have a pour essence as well that's supposed to like almost in a sense my Neutrogena toner where it will clean out your pores and really like keep them fresh. That I'm using actually right now in my morning, just, you know, using up my stuff. So finish that up. It's not something that I'm going to repurchase because when it comes to an essence or purchase, excuse me, when it comes to an essence, you know, I stick with an Asian, Asian brand. 
This is one that I do tend to repurchase quite often. I just keep getting these sample sizes in a set, like around Black Friday or for Christmas. But this is uh, Mario Badescu. This is their glycolic acid toner. So what I will do is once per week with my Clarisonic, I will wash my face. Usually like on a Wednesday, you know, like mid midweek. And I'll just wash my face with this. This just helps again, cell turnover with the skin. If it's even going, that deep because it is a, um, wait, is it the cleanser? No, this is the toner. I have the cleanser and I have the toner, excuse me. I, am, I have the cleanser in my shower. That's what I do every week and then once a week. And then this is the acid toner. Same thing, I only used it once a week as like my toner because I didn't want it every day. No, that was gonna be too harsh. Again, just, I like the cleanser and then I have the toner. So once a week, use it on a Wednesday. It's something I just wanna keep doing. I, I feel maybe it's gonna help, you know, speed up the dark marks to fade and all that. So that's why I was using that. 50 minutes, my gosh, I'm talking too much. Okay, we only have a few more items and then I'm done. Okay, this is from Bifesta. This is their Bright Up Cleansing Wash. I'm going through my samples in my, I, I have like bins of samples. Everything's split out by category. So I'm trying to use up everything and not um, go out and run and purchase something when I can go shopping for my collection first. I had to buy this <laughs> when I went to go buy this. This is sold at the same uh, Japanese grocery store. I absolutely love this cleanser. I can honestly say that this is a cleanser. I have to use it at least once a year. I get that much enjoyment out of it. Really because Bifesta is, they only do cleansing waters. They only do waters, like makeup removal, really just getting your, your skin clean as hell. So you know it's gonna be good. And they're known for that. And I have their, my cellular water as well, comes in a pump. I have that in my bathroom and same thing, I'll rotate between that and Garnier or whatever's in my, that I'm using. But this is the Bright Up and they have different versions. They have a Bright Up if you want Radiance and Glow, which is my middle name. They have one if you have dry skin. They have one if you have oily skin. It's like pour something, it's in a green bottle. So they have one for each category. Now it is a cleanser, so I could use it, I can use it with my Clarisonic. What's good is you can open your eyes and it's not gonna stain your eyes. Um, so if you have a teenager or whatnot to use it, it's not gonna hurt their eyes. And it gets everything off your face. Cause sometimes we're talking once in a blue moon, you know, if you're doing something and I just forget, I don't know what I'm thinking and I don't pre-cleanse, like I don't get the makeup off first and I will use this and I mean everything is off my face. So you don't even really need to pre-cleanse with this. They know what they're doing. Every one of their products gets the skin, the makeup, everything off like that. I think they even have wipes. I feel with wipes, I feel they just don't get everything off. I would still want to clean again. But if you wanna use the face wash, if you wanna use the micellular water, this, I cannot stress enough, and I think I even have said this in a prior empties, but it was like way, like almost when this, the channel first started. This cleanser, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. That's why I said, I, I, ha I feel like I need to use it at least once a year, like to support it <laughs> and purchase it. It is that damn good. Excuse me for cussing, but it is. Okay, this is another Snow White. What did we learn? <laughs> when I say anything that is Asian, this is Korean brand, Secret Key. If it says snow in the word, pick it up. If you want radiant skin, glow, all that good stuff. This is from Secret Key and that's exactly what this did. This is their essence. Now, I do miss it. <laughs> God, I wanted to break down so bad and buy another one of this. But, and I also finished in August, I finished the first treatment essence, but it was a snow white one. And then they have a skin booster. Oh my gosh, that skin booster. Okay, I did not have a step in my routine for a skin booster and I made it. <laughs> I made it because I said the skin booster is out of control. 
So yeah, I added another step. So my step is probably like 14 steps in the morning, God forbid. This essence is really good. My, what I, and what I say about for the skin steps, I always tell people, and, I, and I'm gonna say it again in the skin videos, pick what is, pick what you're looking for. What is it you're trying to get out of your skin and go from there. So for me, especially with my skin being where, you know, any type of breakout, anything, it's going to create that dark spot, the hyperpigmentation. I want it smooth, I want it gone. And anything with radiance, anything with that glow, that is what I'm always constantly trying to strive for. So their matching skin booster plus their matching essence. My skin was on fire, it was fabulous. So I don't think I'm gonna break down and buy that one again, probably not until the end of the year because again, I wanna use what I'm using, but that I will be picking up again. This is my first time using Tarte's Friction Stick. Now, I've said it in a video before. I didn't use their eye makeup remover. I've only used their face wash and I use the micellar water. And the micellar water will get all your eye makeup off too. Okay, back to this. I have to be careful with Tarte skincare because they like to stick coconut in absolutely everything and I'm allergic to coconut and I, I can't deal with it. So, well, I guess I always like to say it depends. Hi, it depends on what coconut because Too Faced coconut I can use. So this came in like a little Tarte set. I kid you not, this friction stick, I have got to get a full size of this. This was absolutely fabulous for travel. I, I Look, I was trying to get everything out of here. I love this thing. It doesn't have any coconut in it, if you also are allergic to it. But what I did is I remember I just, oh my gosh, this is so flipping good. <laughs> I'm just thinking again about what, how I was doing it. It's so good. I have to go buy another one. Um, I just put it on my face. And I remember I just let it sit for a little bit and then you just start to massage it. And then it, it, it almost looks like it wants to foam, but it doesn't. And I mean, it just got everything off and it's like exfoliating at the same time. So you probably can use this. I think it's marketed as a cleanser too, but I use it as an actual exfoliator. So after I washed my face, I used it to exfoliate. And I mean, I can feel it. it this thing is good. This is another one where I'm almost cussing. <laughs> flipping good. So travel size, I will get another travel size because I think they sell this online um, on the Tarte website, like in a travel size. I can pick that up, have that for travel, and then I want to get a full size of that thing. That is absolutely fabulous. And my girlfriend who watches all my videos and she comments, she's such a great, great friend. Deborah, shout out. This is because of you. She was telling me how good that was and then I finally got it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is good. Okay, this is another thing that's good. It's a mask. This is from Fresh. It's their rose face mask. So it infused with real rose petals, hydrates and tones. So this is just one that I used, again, rotating in my um, collection. I tend to use this one where after I would do a clay mask on my skin and then the next night I would like to put something like to soothe and hydrate. You know, I don't want to do two nights worth of, of um, clay mask. I figure that'd be too much for my skin. But that's a good one from Fresh. And then this mask I finish. This is actually like almost, I, I like to think of this one like a, like a cleanser type mask if I can get it open. Oh my goodness, that was hard. So this is their Glam Glow. And I picked up, I always buy Glam Glow sizes like this at Sephora because I just don't know how it's going to be. And I wanna try it out. This is the Power Med Cleanse Treatment. And it's kind of confusing because I don't know if it's really a mask or if it's a cleanser or it's an exfoliator, kind of like all in one. So I would wear, I would use this the same as the friction stick. I kind of would just, you know, my face is clean. I put this on and I just let it sit. And then I would go and kind of, you know, massage it in later and then wipe it off. I think that one, this one just, it's confusing to me. I don't know. It's not one that I'm, I'm not going to buy a full size of that. I'm not even that size, but my favorite Glam Glow mask is the blue, the turquoise one, the Thirsty Mud. That one I really like. This is an eye cream. 
This I love. I cannot find this anymore at um, like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but this is their uh, sun protection eye cream from Shiseido, SPF 34. I like eye cream that for AM use that has sunscreen. Again, sun protection, anti-aging. And I'm really picky if it's an eye cream with sunblock because some of them will start to bunch up like around this area, it won't really settle into the skin. Others will have just white casts. Very picky when it comes to eye cream with um, sun protection. That one is just like a regular eye cream. It sinks in, you can put your concealer on afterwards. You know, no bother. And speaking of concealer, and this is the last item, and we are done for tonight's happy hour. It's from Estee Lauder. I finished this up. This came in their Double Wear set where I got a foundation brush, a full size of the Double Wear foundation in my color, and then the Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer. Which shade is this? I think this is in Deep. Yes, it's in Deep 05, and I used it up. This concealer is just like the foundation. It's perfect <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. It's a foundation that you do not need a lot. I stress that you do not need a lot. It's like, I feel the foundation, you don't need a lot. Some people, you know, choose to paint their face with it, but you just need a little bit. And it covers the dark circles. I just do little dots here, blends it in, blends like a dream, and it, it covers. So I do enjoy that. Now I do have quite a few concealers, so I'm not purchasing that one yet, but if I ever do go through at least a few more concealers to actually justify purchasing another one, I will repurchase that one because that one's really good. That is it. Happy hour is over or last call for happy hour. Let's call it like that. So if you have any questions about anything I talked about, let's get them going. Otherwise, I'm going to start dinner. I'm going to eat with my happy hour. How are you guys doing? I still see there's people here after my long talking. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? If not, then I shall bid you good night. Thank you for coming for happy hour. Let's do happy hour again on Wednesdays. I think this is kind of fun. Again, can pick a topic, review, whatever. Empties for sure. This, is, this helps me so much for empties because then I don't have to edit, <laughs> which is good. Yay. Do you have any questions, Stephanie? My namesake. Okay, good. Everybody go have dinner. Go enjoy your night. Have a wonderful night. I will see you in the next video. I appreciate you stopping by and have a wonderful day or wonderful evening wherever you are at. No, I have not tried the Michael Todd face brush. I'm just, I'm an avid user of my Clarisonic and I'm just gonna stick with that. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Have a good night again or good day and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye everyone.